I'm here with Joe Rotella, and well, Joe and I went to the Columbus Museum of Art, and we had so much fun. And one of the things is they had a lot of hands-on where you could take pieces to try to recreate the art. And Joe, you've come up with a project that kind of plays with that idea. We're making an owl among many of the things that you well, could make. Yeah, among anything. Just. I've realized I have so many scraps of wood, metal, acrylic, and sometimes I'm stenciling or stamping and I have, you know, leftover paint out. Why not save it all? So we're making body parts. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Once we have some, then you can assemble them. So I'm going to turn on my bandsaw and I've got it connected to a vacuum. So it's going to help pull out any of the sawdust. I've got safety glasses on, I'm wearing gloves, and let's cut some wings. And I'll That's take so off some cool. of the rough edges. Don't worry when you're doing this about sticking to your lines. I mean, it's fun. These should be well, funky. I was going to say, I always knew you could use a saw to cut wood, obviously. And I feel stupid saying this, but I somehow thought you would need special equipment to cut metal. Well, I changed the blade to put in a blade that'll work with wood, acrylic, and metal. So I see. So this shape, which is the same one that you're sanding, this one was cut from acrylic. And you just need to make sure you're using the right blade for that. Absolutely. So I got a wing done. And I know that these little decorations that are on here, you told me, are vinyl. So we used an electronic cutter to just go ahead and cut some of those little, what did you call them? Doodads or? Yeah, thingies. Th thingies is thingies. technical. Scallops, something out of vinyl. So oh, I'm just going to. Scallop sounds good. Pull, scallop sounds fancy, right? Do you want to put them on there? Yeah. Oh, I love the rust on here. That's super cool. So obviously, you can put them on however you want and then just fold them over to the back to decorate. No I love the way that it looks so rustic, but there are lots of other ways that you've decorated the various pieces too, I know. Well, acrylic will work with a permanent marker. I've done stamping, stenciling, just painting. I've got bits of jewelry, woods, because we have an adhesive that'll work on so many different so, so we're going to put this together, right? And I get to play, which I like because I'm looking at all these different parts. So this is more vinyl and acrylic. I can see stamping and painting of all kinds. And now I need a body, right? Or actually, I guess this is the base body. I'm it excited to play with this. Now, I know you told me that I need to wear gloves with the glue so I don't glue my fingers together because it's super strong. And when you use a glue like yeah. this, less is more. You don't want to put so much adhesive that when you put two things together, it squishes out. That's another okay. technical term, oh, squish. Before we start, I know you told me that we can actually put a feather we in can, the top of can. the owl, right? Do you want a little feather? I do. I always want a little feather. So show me how we do that. I just have a very, very tiny drill bit okay. here. And this you can hold like a pencil. So I'm not even, look how precise we're gonna be. I'm just gonna get it started. You know, I'll put a couple in case you want feathers in different places. I probably do. So while you're doing that, I am gonna go ahead and start building what I want. So I always like to sort of lay things out to see how I like them. And once I feel like I have an arrangement, let's see, that works for me, then I'm ready to start gluing. Oh, look. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's a feather in his cap. I think it's super cute. But that was creative. So I'm just going to put a couple drops of glue into this bottle cap. And that is going to allow me to drop this jewel in. And I know that this is a quick set glue, so I can just go ahead and get my next layer. And again, take the glue and put it in. I have feathers. This is, of course, metal to metal. That first one was glass to metal. And now I'm going to go straight with metal to acrylic. And it does have, just even though it's quick set, you don't have to be scared. It has a little bit of open time, maybe 30 seconds where you can mush this around, okay? Now, I know you told me if you have a bigger surface, I wanna use an adhesive that has a brush on it. So for instance, if I'm attaching this onto the body, I guess I would brush Yeah, I'd the use the brush on. just because you've got a bigger okay. surface to cover. So I'm gonna go ahead then and brush that on. Perfect. I'm always, I'm always a maximalist when it comes to everything because you don't have, have glove. gloves on. 
There what you do you go. think? Put the wing down. Here? Yes. Let's not be picky. Let's be playful. <laughs> And you just hold it for about 30 seconds and we're good to go. Cool. So let's keep building our owl. So we need another wing. I suppose we could use another acrylic, but maybe you could cut a metal I one instead. That. So it's matching. It's and like a body part factory. It is. And while you're doing that, I'm going to keep gluing away because it's so easy. So while you were cutting that, I'm busy drawing and doodling all over this acrylic. Well, I think that's the fun part because we're using scraps. Just have fun and they'll all look different. Exactly, I think it's really cool. So I am thinking, I think these are supposed to be feet, but I kind of, ooh, I like this marble part. So this is wood. And I'm going to make it a big nose, and I'm going to go ahead and use the brush now to put this metal on. So I'm going to brush a thin coat, because you told me it's a thin coat. And I like to obey the uh, rules. Occasionally. Occasionally, when it suits me. And again, like that's the whole point. Crafting is meant to be fun and free. And I think anytime you start to get nervous about it, but the other thing is, of course, you want things to work, which is very important. How about I hold it and you put the thingies? Yes. Oh, the thingies. Yes, we our technical scallops, we do. That's one of the things that's nice about cutting it this way is that you have lots and lots of choices. So. Joe, if you'll go ahead and lift that onto the base and we can see how it's uh, gonna look. Let's see if I can get a little scallop on here. <laughs> it looks so cool. And yeah. now let me just put this under here. And look at that! I love our completely homemade, totally wonky, collaborative art. Artsy, look yes. at this. I love it. Thank you so much.